Mm. Okay, well, here's our opponent. It's Wisp. Wisp is back. So I we're going to be seeing some uh, some Claren versus uh, Crag here. All right. Need some water. Give me a second here. Of course. For you folks at home who are dehydrating, stop. Hydrate. Get some water. Please. How do you think these beautiful people over here are staying focused? They are staying hydrated. Just like the rest of us over here in commentary as well. I will say personally, if I see a player that looks comfortable, like hoodie, you know, pajama pants and stuff like that, the more comfortable they are, I think the better player they are. Hmm. Well, you can't lose focus at the same time. There's a balance to be struck. You don't want to be on the edge of your seat, but you also don't want to be falling asleep at the wheel. Yeah. Ah, they're doing it, uh, you know, old school analog right there. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, there's been some difficulties with the uh, the tourney mode early on. Um, sometimes it can sort of just get stuck and then you have to kind of go back and do a lot more of the settings. Like it'll keep the stages like permaband. It's really, it's really odd, but uh, that makes I'm sure it'll get figured out pretty quick. Right, but so far, Wiz has to figure out what to do against the sponsor of a character. What a parry. And Cheese Potato has been talking about, like, the best defensive option is that parry. Which I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm supposed to agree with on this one. Jesus! And solid dunk to open that up. And almost not even a chance for Wisp to get a, uh, an opening. We had the one hit, but no follow-up. But, uh, yeah, Wisp already determined to uh, reversal that as soon as possible. 60% here. Pillar broken. This is going to be pretty tough for Cheesy Potato. Yeah, I think that's out of options. Yeah, it's all... Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait a minute. Okay, nah, right. nah, you didn't have Pillar. We tried it to zero to well, death from Wisp. Okay, never mind. Oh, Cheesy into Potato. The pit. <laughs> Cheesy Potato's got to watch it. And another great parry. He tries to go for another jump, doesn't get it. Wisp actually ready that time. We're not seeing a lot of boulder play right now, actually. Looks like Wisp is just a little too fast uh, for those setups. Yeah, and again, that's the difference between all of these Crag players who have come from Rivals 1. They all have a slight different variation to them, and, and Cheesy Potato is very much a I have big moves, and I will be in your face and make it very difficult to deal with me type player so far. Yeah, using, using the boulder much more as like a, a backup plan, kind of. Has the boulder behind, and then once you've got a bit of an offensive opening, then you can grab the boulder and get your, you know, six boulder strings that I've seen a lot of out of Cheesy Potato. Does the boulder count as a projectile? Uh, it's an item. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I would call it an item. It's the only item in the game. Oh, oh, saw that. The good stuff right there, Wisp. We're gonna die here in just a second if Cheesy Potato can get a grab or at least any sort of strong hit. All right, recovering high, getting back to the ledge. Wisp with that grab though, keeping Cheesy Potato at ledge. And perfectly spaced back yeah. here, right there. Again, looking, looking from this, from this range just outside, looking to really bully with normals from a distance, rather than keep a pretty far distance and have like defensive setups that you have to kind of break down. Oh, we have this weird setup though. The rock right there on the pillar. We're gonna see some command grabs right here instead of these back airs just to control here at Luther. Oh no. You know, that could have been a mind. I, I'm thinking about it now. That that block on the pillar was was probably some kind of mind game, thinking like, oh, you're gonna think I'm gonna go try and get that block, but nope, I'm I'm gonna be right in your face, like I've been this entire game. It also keeps the option for that command grab open of like, hey, it's there, it's going oh, down. Oh, true. I didn't think about that. Well, no, you still have it even if you don't have a block out. It's just the air. Grab. Oh, you can use the command grab on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. If you want that mix, it's, it's good. That's right. We're all about mixing here. What well, once again, recover. when it comes down to this final stock, it is going to be very difficult no to take way. it off of Crag. Great setup there. Covering the air dodge. Yo, all Crag players, take notes. Oh, God, no! Not like that. Oh. All right, don't write that down. Don't write that down. Maximum risk. And unfortunately, no maximum reward. Um, oh, so Crag... Man is an extremely easy character.
past you with. <laughs> see how fast? <laughs> she, she see how fast that beetle sinks? Yo, she tried to get that command grab on the ledge. Yeah. I love the attempt. It's a great idea. But yeah, yeah unfortunately, up, when dead. it comes to Crag, you are like the fastest of fallers ever. So if you mess up off stage, it's very easy to just fall right into the blast zone. Did I just see chain grab? Perhaps you did. But that's going to already be the first stock for Cheesy Potato, opening up this game very quickly. I'm going to try to get that aerial grab. Not going to happen. Instead, just trying to board tilt slide into Wisp. Wisp over here again. As long as they stay well spaced, they're okay. Great charge. Almost, almost an early DI read was thinking, oh yeah, you're definitely going to DI this out. And put out that forward strong way in advance. Oh, we're just poking the rock away. Oh my god. Oh yeah, maybe it is chain grabs, you're right. Yeah, I saw like five of them in a row. I'm like, what is this? Oh no! Yeah, Jeez. great. Great choice. You do have that as an easy way to deal with that pillar. Claren may not have a projectile, but that's a great way to just... Well, not all projectiles break pillar, and Claren can just knock it out with that. Yep. All right, finally see that rock. A lot of these rocks are just kind of being thrown back at Potato's face, but still two stocks apiece. A rare moment of Cheesy Potato zoning here. Keeping stage control and using a lot more of, like, the rocks to keep space and, and attack from afar. Yeah, and some of that offensive interface option that she usually goes for. What a mix! Oh Ooh. my goodness, all right. Tosses the block up and just says, all right, how are you gonna deal with this? And just throws out the forward strong. Yeah, the answer is you don't. You are unprepared there. All right, forward throw, trying to get another grab. I mean, all these options. What, a, did we just grab the parry object? Okay. Again. Make back the stage, opts to not toss out the pillar there. Oh, oh here come the rocks! Yo, let's go. Here come the rocks! It's over! Oh, we love to see it! And that's gonna be 1-1. One, one. <laughs> you guys can't hear it, but the crowd just went wild out there for that. Mm-hmm. She's having a good time. Get chain rocked. <laughs> <laughs> chain rocked. It's like Marvel out here, Jesus. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, it's over. Oh, and the kick for good measure. But yeah, again, Cheesy Potato not really looking to use the rock so much as a pure zoning tool, but normally looking to like have it on hand when the time comes and then pick up the rock and just chain it, it together. It's an extension of herself. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Solid, solid combo start, but unfortunately, Crag do be that fast baller. No way. Okay. No, it doesn't do that. Why would it do that? This isn't this isn't melee Kirby. <laughs> I'd be surprised with how it many does, combos this happens. It does get you really deep off stage though, because it does get you a little bit below ground. Okay, All right, Wisp, Wisp looking a lot cleaner though so far. So far, oh. Okay, so the parry does disable that recovery there. Well, the invulnerability. Recovery. And that's not a stock. This is Crag. Yeah. Don't forget, Crag is, despite what you think about Loxon, Crag is the heaviest character in the game. Oh. Makes sense. He's a beetle. Uh -oh. Big, big old beetle. All right, gonna throw you back into the wall. No spike. Oh, <laughs> Crag just doesn't say anything. He just grunts. <laughs> He's like an old Western character. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Great down tilt. You don't have pillar, but you you have your old oh, pillar no, no. that you can still use for a jump. Great yep. down strong. Not enough off the top when it's not tippered. All right, wait a minute. We're trying to get something started here. Throwing the rock again. It looks like it's zoning time here. Nope. Throwing it away, time. Yeah, that back air off the top is gonna do it. And just like that, we a very good lead here, but it's, ah. not, it's like it didn't even what? matter. What lead? What lead? It's 166. I'm a liar. <laughs> hey, a stock lead's a stock lead. Yeah, but it's not much if you don't put any percent on to make the difference. And right now, we're putting on a lot of percent here, and a missed input from Peasy Potato, but gets that command grab started. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, oh, chain grabs. Oh. The, the, the forbidden setup. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a parry there, and it's going to be right back to neutral. 
We're gonna put on a little bit of pressure chain with that rock there. But uh, in the end, Wisp with a really nice position here. I tried that special get up. Oh, yep. Frank's grab is a little bit better than her. All right, another rock throws it to the ground. Wisp, unfortunately, not able to convert off that grab. Oh, I saw the, that. The cursed angle. Don't tell me that's a stock. That's, that's a, a stock. stock baby. What? At like. Uh, what percent was that? That was so early. That was 65. Oh my goodness. Okay. She's yeah. okay to living up to her name and cheesing it out sometimes. Truly the, the craggiest moment. We love crag moments here. These parries off that down to so go good. for a really interesting setup, but doesn't get the tipper forward strong to finish it off, unfortunately. Again, when it comes to Claren, you have almost like infinite potential here with with like if you can land your tippers you are incredible but sometimes you just don't time it right yep and we've seen like the good and the bad out of wisp for sure when it comes to these tippers and now wisp trying to get this at least second stock here stand a chance i think this is gonna happen no never mind we didn't have that color again 185 on cheesy potato here Oh, and she does manage to jump away from that. Stays alive. We wouldn't be here if she didn't SD at that last stock in the first game. Perhaps, but Wisp oh. is holding on. At 79% on this final stock, it has become night in Jules Vale. Okay, Great juggle. Whoa. Keeps up the pressure. But but Wisp is able to make it back down, and we're back into this dash dancing neutral. She's yeah. potato finally taking some damage. You're not gonna be a zero to death. Then what we see for a setup. Mm -hmm. Great, Great answer to it. Breaks the rock with the grab, and I feel like that could have been a grab instead. But uses hey. uses the rock against Crag there. Oh no. And Wisp still staying alive, challenging on the pillar. You kind of have to if it's a low pillar like that. You can potentially get Cheesy Potato off stage enough where you can uh, you, you can keep her without pillow. No! Okay. Oh, no, it's not over yet. We got Drift there. Okay, there we go. But this is still looking pretty dangerous, even with 160 here on Wisp. Yeah, we are going to There's a low. There's the rock. There's plenty of rock chances time, to... Baby. Oh, you were not and prepared once again. Potato. Just throw it out. Ah, the way she landed on that rock and then did the strong mm -hmm. forward, it was a Cause Hail it's, Mary Because it's like, you're not going to hit Crag there. You're just going to hit the rock. Yeah. And then the rock's going to cancel out the knockback. So it's like the safest way to set it up. Just some really smart stuff here from Cheesy Potato. But Wisp obviously was about to take that. I feel like mm -hmm. if he was just a little more careful there in the last few seconds, he could have pulled it out. Yeah, incredible finish to that set. Even with all of that percent, Wisp was not going to give up this chance. But again, yeah, I mean, well, that was that was Cheesy Potato without Pillar, so. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, just some really good plays. I think Wisp, you know, obviously, yeah. it's still, like, day three of the game. You know, you want to make sure, like, you still work on your spacing, making sure, like, you're not, uh, you know, figuring out that spacing for those tippers. Yeah, and that, again, that was, like, yep, the there best kill. Yeah, unfortunate there. Um, but that is going to do it for our regular bracket. Uh, we're going to be coming back a little later to uh, bring you top eight of Rivals 2 here at Warped. Um, you said this was Warped 6, right? Warp number six. Oh, we've been, number we've been six, going for yes. five before this. Mm. Very exciting stuff. But you know what? going to be even more exciting stuff here for Top Cut of Rivals 2. If you are still watching, thank you very much. If you have stopped watching, well, no, there's stop. plenty of time to come back later and catch even more uh, top level Rivals 2 action here at River City Gaming. Yeah, go get a snack and do, look for more moments like that because that was incredible. For sure. All right, well, thank you for having us. I've been Borealis. <laughs> well, hold on now. Hold well, on. We, we got we to gotta do some chilling first. What's now. up? We do. Yeah.